internet. Hello. How's it going? We are the Nice of the Drug Watch. I'm Andrew. I'm Mark. I'm Jacob. And uh, we are here for movie nights with the Drug Watch. And we're going to review... Um, Ready, Ready or, or not. not. So, uh, oh, now I've already forgot what we're supposed to do. <laughs> we are the Knights of the Drunk Watch, and, and now, now our, our talk, talk begins. begins. So, anyway, so, uh, Mark, all right, you start. All right, so I'll start. Okay, so, uh, we kind of, I think all of us kind of went into this movie. Uh, we had seen the trailer for it, which, all right, this is no. Sp- all right, we're not spoiling anything, by the way. We're going to talk about the movie and give our review, but we're not going to give away too much. But what we knew from the trailer is that it is about this new young bride who comes to this uh, very wealthy family house. Specifically, they're like the owner of this giant board game empire or dominion or whatever. They yeah, so they're kind of like, what is it, like the Parker brothers? Yeah. And stuff that they have that fortune behind them. And what we know from the trailer is that they're going to play a game. And she has to play hide and seek. And pretty much we get the story that she has to survive until midnight. Because as we learn... Till sunrise. Till sunrise. Because even as the trailer shows us, well, the whole family starts hunting her down, trying to Mm -hmm. murder her. Right. Right. So that's no spoilers, not giving anything away. So... I think kind of going in, um, I felt a little like on the edge of my seat for like the first 20 minutes because it starts off as all happy. Oh, I'm getting married today. Everything's going to be so happy. And you see like members of family going, yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, great. So, you know, you're just nervous because having known from just the trailer, you know, bad shit's about to happen. You're just waiting for it. So I felt a little nervous in those first like 20 or 30 minutes and... I don't know. Yeah, well, add things. I, I mean, well, because... <laughs> well, I knew it was going to happen. Well, yeah. you knew what was going to happen, but you're just gonna, like waiting for it. Like, okay, when do we... Well, because she goes in like not knowing that they're going to... They don't tell her you have to survive until morning. Yeah, she, she thinks she's hide. just... You she win, thinks this is her wedding hide day. You and seek by, hide, by hiding until dawn. Mm-hmm. So... Um, actually, I and say uh, I really did like the cast... Of this whole thing. I mean, there was the the main girl who, uh, her character's name is Grace. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we looked at her, we, and you just want to keep thinking that she's Margot Robbie, but she's, she's really not. Yeah. Um, I definitely thought it was Margot Robbie from the trailer. Yeah, when you Me first then, watched like, it. watching the movie, I was like, oh, this is Margot yeah. Robbie. I mean, but uh, the actress whose name I don't know off the top of my head right now, but uh, she was really great. She was very charismatic, and we were kind of... Like, following her through the whole story. And uh, one of the things that I was wondering about was that she is in her wedding dress for the entire film. This whole movie takes place over the course of one night. And uh, I read that the costumer had... Samara Weaving. Samara Weaving, that is her name. That uh, The costumer had um, about... I want to say seven, but the number may be 11. 11 different versions of her wedding dress for her to wear throughout the film. Because obviously, as the night goes on, it goes through several different stages of distress. When she finally realizes <laughs> what's going on. I was waiting for her to do this. As as the night went on, she realized, uh-oh, shit's going down. She finally had the moment of... she. Kicked, she took off her high heels, she put on these tennis shoes, and she ripped off the bottom, whole bottom, like, trail, Spoiler. train of her dress. Spoiler. No, 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 they show this in the trailer. Oh, they, show trailer? they show it in the trailer, and then she finally the gets the whole thing of bullets wrapped around her, and she pulls out the shotgun, and the she's like, gun. Shh, shh. Yeah, no, they show that in the trailer, so I'm not spoiling anything. So, uh, the thing I found most surprised about the movie, because I didn't expect it, was how dark of a comedy it was going to be. It was it's very really humorous. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you wouldn't advertise it as a comedy, but they're very, there's a lot of moments that you just burst out laughing, but you're laughing because of, this is such a terrible thing that's happened, and it's so bizarre, but you well, laugh I mean, anyway. They it's, well, you laugh because I mean, they wrote a dark the comedy. They wrote a comedy. Like yes. the, the crossbow, laugh by that's, in, that's in the trailer, is the crossbow. So you know that's yeah. going to happen at some point. Yeah, so. and you have one character who is so modern, and they're trying to do, like, antique traditions. And he's all like, I don't know how to use the crossbow. 
Can I have a weapon that was made this century? Yes, yeah, someone <laughs> says that. And then he actually has a moment he has to go hide out and put YouTube on his Watch phone YouTube video, yeah. to figure out how to use a crossbow. <laughs> okay, so Jacob, what do you have to say about the film? Because um, I mean, I did, I did really, really like it. Like, like you said, it's a really dark comedy, so people are gonna die in weird and funny ways. Ha <laughs> ha! And it's a very biz- bizarre. I think is yeah. a good word. There's some very bizarre deaths, but we all kind of laughed. <laughs> well, because you're yeah, you don't laugh like it's guilty. You laugh because they wrote a dark comedy. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> anyway, so uh, rating. So we have a, a a shot rating. The more shots you need to get through the movie, the worse it is. So I, for, for my part, like one shot is a five star movie, and ten shots would be a half star movie. So that's basically how I mapped it out. People may have different philosophies. Um, uh, when I get my rating, part of my rating is, is affected by the writing, my opinion about some of the writing, which I can't talk a lot about without giving spoilers, which is why I've suggested that we have a live after talk about the movie later, uh, this Sunday evening. So if we, see, we, we would like to discuss the so ending. If, if, you, if you happen to see this tonight on August 25th. 5th. The late tonight we'll be going live to talk about the movie, so watch out for your uh, notifications. And of course, if you see this afterwards, look for the live after talk just to see what we talked about. Uh, so I'm going to give the movie four shots. Okay, and the main reason I, I give it four shots is because you have one shot going in, right? And it was a great movie. I had a great t- time. It was funny, but I felt like it slowed down a little bit here and there to where I started thinking about things that I felt were missing in the writing. And I I say that only because I thought they did a great job with the script, it was funny, but there were things I was like, I, I felt like, well there's a prologue at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. I felt like, and then part of that's used later as a flashback, that's not a spoiler. To me I felt like maybe all of it could have been saved for the flashbacks. I feel like I knew a little bit too much about what's supposed to be happening that I couldn't oh. really keep track of my expectations. You know, what what are the, the, the when knowing of course we know coming into the movie that she's gotta survive or you know, to win she that lives. The family to, is you know, trying to murder. Family's trying to kill her. But you don't really know it's the stakes are kinda of muddy and I think they could have kept it cleaner if they I don't know, just little nitpicky stuff. So I give it four shots and three one shot because you always have one shot going into a movie. And then three shots just to kind of keep you going because it slowed down a little bit. But otherwise, it's a great ride. I would definitely go see it. Yes. Um, oh, gosh. Well, going by that, actually, we went into the movie theater and we waited in the concessions line. And I saw that they actually had lots of alcoholic I did go drinks. in with a shot of Jack and Coke frozen. It was great. <laughs> um, actually, but I didn't get any of those. I was just <laughs> drinking a regular slushy. So I actually went in without any alcohol and I still enjoyed it. Um, but well, then, I, I, I know, I know. Hush, let me finish my movie. sentence. <laughs> but I, I would say though, out of what one to ten, one to ten, ten being okay. horrible and one being the one best to movie. ten. I would say I give it a. I kind of agree with what you said. I say three, maybe four shots, just for fun. But oh, overall, I enjoyed it. In fact, it's one of those movies that as I was watching it, I want to take Audie to go see it and. So I can watch her reaction to it. Go, Jacob. Uh, I would probably go with three shots. I really, I really had a lot of fun with it. Um, if you want to, you can just drink for death. But I mean, oh. so those are bonus shots. Yeah, those. those You'll are be part of on the, the floor. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. Well, drink, but it is it is a murder horror movie. So yeah. yeah. I would say uh, drink for death and drink for. God, I was trying to think of their thing. I was gonna say poor decisions. <laughs> but well, I mean, in any sort of movie there are a few like poor that, decisions. There's a lot of poor decisions. <laughs> they're funny. Mm-hmm. I I don't know what signals y'all are making. Just they want up. us to wrap it up now. We got ten minutes, oh, so we well, got they're two about to start the playoff. Music. Okay. Actually, you have thirty seconds. So yeah, so oh, um, <laughs> his timer is wrong. Well, I all in all, I would say go see it. It's fun. It's creepy and spooky, and it's dark and humorous. And it was just all around a fun movie to watch.
Yeah, don't I be, would recommend don't it. Don't be afraid to laugh. People are afraid to laugh at dark comedies. It's hysterical. We were the only group in the whole I, theater I mean, actually, actually laughing. They, it's a fine line. I think they could have pushed the comedy a little bit further. Actually, I think they were a little afraid. I mean, that's where my my other my fourth shot comes. Is I feel like as sometimes they didn't trust the audience enough, and other times they didn't want to trust the audience at all. So it was, that was that was what I was dealing with. So okay. anyway. So, okay. I guess that's our review. Yeah, it, so, it was an all-around good time. Go see uh, Ready or Not. Ready or Not. I recommend Playing it. in theaters now. And come back later tonight, or look us up later for our live talk back. Because we want to, to discuss the, the ending. Because I woke up thinking about a lot of crap about this movie. <laughs> so, we're the nice to the drunk watch, and now our, our talk, talk is ending. ending.